Do you like anime? Do you like stickers? If the answer to either of those questions were yes, or you're just an otaku like me, go check out sukawaii.com. Here, you can look at all of these beautiful stickers and other anime merch and accessories. They've got My Hero Academia. They've got Seven Deadly Sins. They've got Jujutsu Kaisen. They've even got little cuties like this. Who is that? I don't know, but I'm buying them. I bought some myself and they're amazing and adorable. Here, look, using the link in the description below, use promo code BIZARRE5 for 5% off of your purchase. That's promo code BIZARRE5 for 5% off of your purchase. I mean seriously, look how cute! Monster. An Attack on Titan X Mute Reader fanfic by Mokamaki. Chapter 28. Blood dripped from the ground as the female titan remained wrapped up in the bloody strings. The two titans' eyes red shocked as they slowly turned around to find the person who did that. Your name breathed heavily through her muzzle. She bit hard into it, making it crack a bit. Her eyes were slanted as she stared angrily towards the female titan. Veins were shown around her facial features. She was standing up, but barely able to keep her balance. Her left hand was over her wound as blood continued to drip from it. Her right hand was held up as bloody strings were sticking out of her palm. Both titans stood there, not knowing what to do or think. Completely astonished that a person was able to use their own blood to trap a whole titan. While they were in shock, your name was beyond livid. You killed my family, and I will not let you get away with it. Your name pulled back her right hand harshly, causing the bloody strings to tighten onto the female titan's body. Its own blood spurted out by the cause of it. She let out a roar of pain. Aaron was surprised. She was able to draw blood? Blood continued to spurt from the female titan's body as your name pulled harder on the strings. The female titan continued to roar in pain as its blood dripped to the ground. Aaron wanted to do something, knowing the female titan could just heal from its wounds, but the strange thing was, the wounds weren't healing. As the strings began to dig deeper and deeper, the female titan's wounds showed no sign of healing. There wasn't even smoke evaporating the blood. Your name couldn't care less if the female titan's arm came off. She just continued to pull on the strings. It hurts, doesn't it? You don't like it, do you? That is exactly what they felt. All the soldiers that you killed felt the same pain you were giving them. I'm returning the favor of all the blood you shed. Your name held her breath as she continued to pull. The pain on her right side was unbearable, but she paid no mind. She just kept pulling and pulling. The bloody strings sinking deeper and deeper into the female titan's body, to the point when the female titan felt its arm was about to be cut off. The female titan began wondering why its blood wasn't evaporating. It was showing no signs of healing, and at this point, its entire body would be dismembered. Why? Why wasn't its wounds healing? And how? How was this girl able to use her own blood to make sharp strings like this? Unless... The female titan's eyes darted slowly to the strings wrapped around its body. The blood from the girl was mixing in with its own blood. It began to feel weak as the strings kept sinking in. Was it from blood loss? Or was it this girl's blood making it weak? Although it was nearing trouble, it couldn't help but be in awe by this sort of ability. This ability surpasses a human and titan's strength altogether. She can't be human if she's doing something like this. The female titan's eyes widened as it remembered a certain someone telling it something before. I'm telling you, that girl is more special than you think. Do you think she's the one? She has to be. It now understands why that person might thought she was special. She has to be. She has to be the one. Its thoughts were finally interrupted as the strings finally dug deep into its arm. The arm was getting ready to fall off. The female titan cursed. She was finished. She was going to be captured. Your name noticed this and began to pull harder. She was close to dismembering the female titan's body until a sudden voice spoke out to her. Breathe, your name. You have to breathe. A female voice called out in her head. Your name gasped once she noticed the throbbing pain in her lungs. She began to let out silent coughs and hacks. She had just realized now that she was holding her breath the entire time. The pain in her lungs burned all the way up to her throat. She stumbled down to her knees. She used both hands to clutch her mouth as she continued to hack, 
Blood began dripping from her muzzle. The bloody strings that were once holding the female titan finally released. It let out heavy breaths as it tried to regain its composure. It was still badly injured, but managed to stand on two feet. Your name continued to cough, more blood dripping from her mouth. She couldn't breathe. Her lungs hurt. Everything felt like it was on fire. She couldn't get herself to stop coughing. Aaron stared worriedly at her in the background, wondering what had happened and what was wrong with her. The female titan's wounds began to slowly heal, but it wasn't strong enough to put up a fight. She decided whatever action she would do now, she could make a run for it and heal while getting far enough. Taking advantage of your name's weak state, the female titan quickly grabbed her. Your name let out a silent gasp as she was brought up to the female titan's mouth, but Aaron was quick to notice what was happening and lunged at the female titan, knocking her down. The female titan tightly, but gently, tightened a fist around your name's frame, shielding her from the attacks that were about to happen. While on top, Aaron frantically looked around for your name so he could get her to a safer place. Give her back, he thought angrily. Your name struggled to escape, but to no avail because of her weak state. She let out a few more coughs before clutching her side. Aaron noticed movement in the female titan's right hand and tried to pry her fingers open. He growled loudly. I'll rip your damn fingers off! The female titan eventually forces Aaron off of it. It got his strength back quickly. Taking advantage of Aaron laying on the ground, the female titan got up and placed your name into its mouth. At this point, your name was too weak to pick up a fight. Aaron stood up and noticed the female titan in a fighting stance. He understood his language. It wants to determine this by fighting. Aaron growled loudly. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you get. Time skip. Aaron loses and gets captured. Mikasa arrives at the scene to find Aaron's titan body evaporating and Aaron getting pulled out of its nape into the female titan's mouth. She goes on a rampage to try to cut it, but Levi comes in time to stop her, his eyes more dull than usual. Stay down. I'll take care of her. And with that, Levi takes down the female titan with ease and manages to cut her jaw open. Her jaw opens to reveal both your name and Aaron unconscious. Levi's eyes widen to find your name laying in there. What would the female titan want with her? Oi, brat, get over here. He called to Mikasa. She made her way there and saw your name lying there. Your name? She asked. Take her. I'll take Aaron. Levi responded. The two then carried the unconscious cadets and got away with the chance they got. Levi took one last look behind them, shocked to find the female titan crying. While heading back, your name began to silently cough, causing her to squirm around. Your name? Your name? Mikasa said. Your name continued to cough until she fell limp once more. Mikasa sighed. Don't worry, your name. This nightmare is nearly over she thought. The two were able to get back with the other soldiers and over to the medical cart. Aaron's POV Aaron groaned slightly as he opened his eyes. He was laying on something that was moving. He gasped slightly and shut up, but immediately regretted it when he felt a sharp pain go through his head. He laid back down slightly, trying to ease his head pain. You shouldn't get up so quickly, a familiar voice said beside him. He turned slowly to find Mikasa staring down at him. Mikasa? Glad you two are alright. Zoo. Wait, your name! He nearly forgot about her. Where's your name? What happened to her? She's fine. She's been laying right next to you the whole time, Mikasa replied. Aaron turned around to find your name lying unconscious. Memories of what happened flew back to him. Your name? Your name! He crawled his way towards her. Once he reached her, he laid on top of her, holding her tightly. His head was on her chest, listening for any heartbeat. He heard one and felt her chest slowly rising up and down. He sighed in relief. She's asleep. Your name. He nuzzled his face into her chest. I'm sorry, your name. I couldn't protect you back there. I'm sorry I couldn't protect them. He gripped her tightly. I'm sorry for making the wrong choice. Because of my decision, we're the ones who made it out alive. I promise. I promise I won't let anything bad happen to you. Your name's POV. Warmth. All I felt was warmth. Like someone was holding me in their arms. It felt nice. 
I felt a hand in my hair, like someone was stroking it. I couldn't see who. My eyes were closed. You were amazing out there, your name. I know there was something special about you when I first laid eyes on you. A soft male voice spoke. Who? Who was that? I'm sorry I couldn't be there to meet you when we became scouts. To be honest, I didn't know my life was going to end back there. This voice is familiar. You might not hear from me again, so I came here to tell you this. I'm sorry for leaving all of you when this expedition came. I wish I could have been stronger back there. The grip tightened around me. I must warn you your name. The people we know in the scouts are not who they say they are. They're not to be trusted. You must find them your name. I know that you can. The grip loosened. I gotta go, your name. Remember what I said. Also, be there for Jean for me, okay? <laughs> it's the least you could do. My eyes widened. Wait, Mar- A bright light blinded me, causing me to become drowsy once more. I hope you weebs enjoyed Chapter 28 of Monster, The Attack on Titan, X Mute Listener Fanfic by Mokamaki. If you want to read ahead or just read what we've heard so far, feel free to check out the link in the description below. Also, leave a like if you enjoy the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and leave a comment down below. Who is your favorite character in Attack on Titan? Let me know. Anyways, that's enough for me. My name is Bazaar, and I'll see you weebs in the next video. Cue the outro.